Hello everyone. In this video, I'll cover the explanation of Azure Private DNS Zone along with why to use it. And later I'll show the step-by-step -step deployment of Azure Private DNS Zone and then integrate with the virtual network. So let's start with what is Azure Private DNS Zone? So it's an Azure service which helps in managing as well as resolving the domain names which are internal to our network and specifically to the Azure Virtual Network. So these domain names cannot be reached through the public network. They are internal because these domain names are not registered with the domain registrar. So let's take an example. If I have an organization with the name Shalender, and if I want to use shalender.local as a domain name within my organization, like a URL, which can be opened through an organization internal network only. In that case, I don't need to buy a domain name. Then I can just create the Azure private DNS zone register it to the virtual network and then use it within the internal web server. And by this way, I can host the internal organization website, which can be accessed through the organization internal network without managing the public domains. So now I'll show you step-by-step -step deployment of Azure private DNS zone and then integrate it with the virtual network. I'm logged into Azure portal now. And for this lab, I have created two virtual machines. So one is a web server, which is a private windows server. That means it doesn't have a public IP address and it has IIS installed, which is reachable over the private IP address. Another one is the user VM. It's for the internal user, though I have assigned the public IP address to this virtual machine so that I can check whether I can access the private IP of the web server in the URL from user VM. So let me log into the user VM. I'll RDP to it. I'm logged into the virtual machine now, and this is the user virtual machine. So let's open the browser and go to the web server and get the private IP of the web server. So this is the private IP. Let's open the private IP of the web server into the URL of another virtual machine. So if I'll increase the font, so it's showing the name of the web server. So this is to show that this is an internal website, which cannot be opened from the internet, but, and it can be opened within the defined virtual network. Now I want to provide a URL to this web server, which will be web server.shalender.local. So that means we need an internal domain name, which is shalender.local and then define this web server 01 as the web server. So if any of the user or the virtual machine within this virtual network opens web server.shalender.local, then this web page should open. There are two methods to do this. First one is update the ETC host file or windows host file, where you can define web server.shalender.local and map it to this private IP address. Then if you'll open the web server.shalender.local in the URL of that server, then you will get this web page. But this is a very hideous task because you have to update each and every virtual machine or the user machine in your environment. And the second method is create an Azure DNS zone and then create the alias record for web server and then link the Azure DNS zone to the virtual network where this web server is lying. And finally create an alias record for this web server and then all the servers within that virtual network will be able to access using the URL. It's not that the user machine should be in that specific virtual network. If there is a peering in place, then it can be in different virtual networks too. Let's go to Azure DNS zone, private DNS zone, create. I've already created a resource group RG servers. And let's name this as shalender.local. Next. I'm not changing anything here. Just review and create and create. It's creating the private DNS zone with the name shalender.local now. And let's wait for it to be created. It's created now. Let's go to the resource. So now we have shalender.local as the private DNS zone. But before we can use it, we have to integrate it with the virtual network. In the DNS management, let's go to virtual network links. Add 
vnet integration select the virtual network it can be in different subscription too and we are not enabling the auto registration which means if you enable the auto registration whenever a virtual machine is created in this virtual network automatically it will be registered to this private dns zone so it's creating the virtual network link now so virtual network link is created now as you can see here link name is vnet integration and it's completed now if you'll go to the record sets in dns management there is a single default record which is start of authority record for azure private dns host dot microsoft dot com now create a new alias record for the web server so we can define anything because this is internal but two different records cannot have the same name so let's just define the web server or web server 01 but let's define the web server let's copy the ip address of the web server Add. Now let's go back to the user VM one and open web server dot shellender dot local and perfect. Now we are seeing the same web page which we were seeing for using the IP address. However, if we'll try the same from the internet, this is not going to work. Let me open this in the browser. And it's just waiting. And it is because we haven't registered this domain with the domain registrar. It's a private domain, which is just created in the Azure network itself. So if in case you want to use some internal websites running on the web servers in your environment for internal purpose only, then you can use the Azure DNS zone. And it integrates well with the different services like Azure Kubernetes cluster, virtual machines. So in fact, you can create multiple applications with the internal domain name and then integrate with each other. Instead of using the IP, you can use the domain name there and then manage the changes in their IP into the Azure DNS zone only. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.